Hey guys, hopefully you guys will come back. I don't know why it was saying no sound, so hopefully you have sound this time. The only thing I've done different, I checked everything, but then I unplugged my charger. So let's see if that helps. Brookie, can you hear me now? I heard that Brooke told us that this is happening to other people, so... Okay, it's good. Well, that's weird. I didn't do anything different other than unplug my charger. So, I don't know. Who knows what the glitches are, but hopefully everybody will come back. We'll get started. Hi, Debbie Dooley. Hello, Celeste. Okay, well, isn't that the weirdest thing? Okay, guys, I'm going to show y'all a couple of easy ideas. Now, this does take just a little bit of time because we're doing a little extra, right? But it is so worth it, especially if it's a special gift. Here's my best recommendation. Hey, Tanya, let me say hi to you guys. I'm glad, Carrie, glad you came back. Good, I'm so glad everybody can hear me. Who knows what the weird glitches are on these things? It's always something. And I appreciate you guys for taking part in my little impromptu survey trying to figure out why some people get notified some people don't but I do think that it's because some people have liked but not followed that is my take so far now it's just kind of a process of elimination but hopefully some of you guys have been able to either like or follow whichever one you weren't let's see if we can not burn up my ribbon and but I want y'all to enjoy the candle. I wish you could smell it. Hi, Maria. Okay, good, good. Hi, Elizabeth. Good, Lisa. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Monica, Texas Breeze Creations. You guys, be sure to follow friends. If you haven't seen somebody, go take a peek at their page. Give them a follow. You can always unfollow. Um, but here's my top trick for why I, you know, this is kind of a special thing, and I don't do it for all of our packages, but... I will get ribbon when it is out of season and on sale. So if you're walking down the aisle and you see some really pretty velvet ribbon like this for maybe $1.99 when it was regularly $8, grab it because you'll use it. I've had this a couple of years and I'm on, this is all I have left, but it's been so nice to use and that way you're not paying full price. And I know we think of velvet sometimes as or um, this color as fall, but I think it's going to go perfectly with what I want to do on here. So um, what I was going to say is, you know, if you have a little box, great. If you have even a, you're maybe recycling a box, that's great too. But I have just wrapped this in white paper and that allows me to do what I want to do to make it special. But if you have wrapping paper that's like really pretty, that's cool too. You know, maybe you've got something like this and you want to do something on top of it. But for this one, and you'll see why when we get done, I'm going to show you what I do. So first thing, I'm going to take a piece of this ribbon. If you don't have velvet ribbon, which you likely don't in this color, and I am so sorry about my nails. I, if I don't paint them today, well, they are getting painted tonight, but I'm really embarrassed to be on here like this. So please don't judge me. Um, I just... Things like doing this are more important, and I, I knew that I was like, oh, they're going to see my terrible nails, but I've been really rough on them the last few days getting ready for Christmas, so it is what it is, and this is real life, but they'll be pretty for Christmas. So um, if you don't have this color ribbon, just think, what do I have? Do you have a little paper sack? You know, anything that's tan will work, or you can, of course, use paint. And you know that usually I do use paint, but I want to show you this whole process start to finish. So glad y'all are coming in. I'm going to stop in a second and say hi. I saw some more. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> hi, Mary. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Hi, Mary, Mary Jo. And yes, all the VIPs that are here. Um, thank you, Kimberly, for the stars. I know, Cynthia, isn't it pretty? You know, I love velvet. So if I see it on sale... If I can, I, I like to pick it up. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you here is not around kids, but just grab your lighter and just, I mean, ever so quickly brush over it right here on the edges, unless you have fray check. 
I have free check that this is just a different way to do it that kind of works really fast and I don't have to get up and go into my other, it's in my utility room in a little storage thing where I keep my fabric kind of stuff and spray um, fray check and all that. But anyway, um, just very gently varnish, is that it? Varnish? I don't know. Whatever. The edges of your ribbon. You don't want to do it long enough to burn it, just to singe those little pieces and then you're good it won't fray or whatever they're just kind of singed on the ends so there is our little base any kind of glue you want to use that's permanent um so stick fast or whatever i'm gonna use oh hot glue i forgot i plugged in my hot glue gun let's use hot glue this is almost like the gift with a gift, you know, because it is so pretty and so unexpected. So like I said, I don't do this on all my packages, but I do like to do something special for, you know, if it's a special occasion, a special person, you could do things, special things for graduation or special birthdays, you know, doesn't have to be all the time. So we're going to put this right here. Okay, you guys know what I'm doing. I know some of you know exactly what I'm doing now that you see this. So start, start calling it out if you know. Thanks, Monica. I love velvet. I've got a few colors and I don't think I got them at the same place. I know I didn't. Some of them, you know, if you just see them on sale somewhere, I've got them at some random places too. So just keep your eyes open and you'll find really, really good sale things. So my daughter buys usually new ribbon every year and whatever she doesn't use she gives to me because she doesn't save it she doesn't have anywhere to store it and she's like do you want this and i'm like yes please so um she gave me this last year and i stored it to this year i had had some before that and pretty much used up all mine so i was really happy to have her so i've got some of this and we are going to use gold is a good yes it is it is i agree Hi, Jeanette Klein. Your package is on the way. Um, you probably got a notification. Okay, so for this one, this is not one that you saw on my photo, if you saw the photo. I'm going to show you something different. Thank you, Brenda, for sprinkling. So I'm going to line this up to the circle. Do y'all know what this is, what I'm doing? An angel who said that. Who said that? Cynthia got it. It's an angel. You know me well, friend. So I'm just lining that up to her chin. So now you know that's a chin. And then kind of fold it. To, that's where I'm going to about have it to come down to. And then I can just cut on that line. Yes, this is lots of glitter. So I'm sure you can hairspray it or something, but I don't. I just let the glitter fall. I don't care. I'll vacuum it all up. And then I'm just going to cut a shape you know you've seen what I do with my angels so I'll start over here on this edge to get the most out of it and then start coming in this will be under her chin and then just come down on the other side you can also fold it in half and you know cut that way and it should be a little more perfect but you know me I don't care too much about perfect so now we've got her body. We're going to do the same thing where we put that down. You can use literally any glue. Um, I've used Nuvo. I'm just using hot glue. It's simple and quick, and you don't even have to tack it down all that well. Just, you know, a few places, mainly on the edges. That's what I want to do, because this is really going to get ripped off, right, and thrown in the trash. So we've got her body. Yes, you guys, it's Christmas Eve Eve. So I hope you all have a very wonderful Christmas Eve and of course Christmas Day. If you are gonna be alone, let us know. Of course, if you don't wanna let us know because of safety reasons, that's totally fine, I get it. But if you you know want us to check on you, we will. So you can even send me a message and say, I'm gonna be alone and I will check on you because you know, sometimes that happens that way. People get sick and can't travel or have to go see other parts of the family. 
and maybe switch off. Okay, these are gonna be her wings, so I'm just kind of getting them down to size. And I did make me a little pattern earlier, so let's just see if that's still gonna work on this side. I'll probably make it a little bigger. So I'm gonna use this as a rough guide, you know? And I'm gonna see if I can get them both on this one piece of ribbon, because you know me. I like to save if I can. Hey Liz, glad to have you live. You're off, aren't you? Are you off? Hopefully you've got a few days off with family. I know some people still have to work, you know, they're in professions that have to stay open and right up until Christmas Day. And of course we have our first responders who, and even grocery store workers and things who probably have to work Christmas Day. So be extra kind if you have to get out. So kind of something like this, let's just test it and see. But you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mm, not my best. Let, let me tell you what else we can do. We can take a piece of paper and I like to say, let me see if I have any in here. I like to say these clear things because what I do is when I paint something, I'll lay a clear plastic on top and trace it, and that's my tracer. And so that's why I love to keep these clear things. Let me see if I have another one in here. I don't. Well, we're going to use this one because my tracer's made, so I don't really have to have this one. Glad y'all are coming in. I hope y'all are having a good day and getting all the things done you need to do. And like I always say, take a break with me, you know, you gotta have a break. So this was another easy way to make a tracer, you know, just to kind of go along this and kind of build up my wings or something like that. So forget all that. This will be my wing. We'll make it real dramatic. Okay, so now I can use this as my tracer. This one that I'm doing right now is an actual present I'm going to be giving. So we're literally able to do this. That's why I'm like, no, let's make a better tracer. You need it to match up with the size I'm doing. And I know you guys love tracers, so I will definitely pop this in the group. Okay, so I'm going to take this now and some of my ribbon and make our wings. Hi, Maria Nova. Glad you're here. What are you up to today? You guys let us know. We love to, we love to know what everybody's doing and hopefully everybody's staying well. I know some that are sick and I hate that at Christmas. When our son was a baby, he got a rotavirus uh, was it Christmas Day? I'm trying to remember now. But yeah, our whole Christmas was spent with that. So it happens sometimes. That's better. Okay, so that kind of matches the shape better. See, so now I'm going to use this one as my template for this one. And it will need to be this way. So remember to flip it. So obviously this one face up. This one, if I did it the same way, would be wrong. So we're going to put it against my ribbon going down like this. Hi, Tamara. How are you today? Oh, Maria, thank you for the stars. 111. Is there significance? Let us know if there is. That is so sweet. Does anybody have any December 24th or 25th birthdays? I always feel like it must be weird to have a birthday you know, on the 24th or 25th, because your family is frantically getting ready for Christmas and, you know, it doesn't really feel very, let's have cake, you know. So you kind of get lumped in a bit with Christmas a lot. Okay, that's better. See that? Much better for this size. I'm going to blow this off. So hold on. Just kind of blow off that, a little bit of that glitter. Now we can Put these down. Oh, you have a new New Year's Eve almost. That's cool. Your mom's was Christmas Day. 
Oh, your late parents anniversary, Mary. Oh, sorry, girl. But that was neat that they got married on Christmas Eve. So again, just kind of want to tack it down. Whatever glue you want to use works. It doesn't have to be hot glue. And it doesn't have to be perfect either. Oh, Deb, but that's my fault. It was going to run into dinner and cooking and all that, so I went ahead and went early. I was trying to get too many things done, and I finally decided it's too much. I'm going to have to just do this now. And, okay, that's a little high. That's a little high. Darn it, you guys. I was going to try to pull it off, but I already had put it in. That's okay. We're not going to cry over it. I'm gonna leave it. So let me take it down. You've only missed me kind of making a tracer for this is all. Okay, so there's our little angel. Now we want to give her a halo. So look around your stash. Look, that would be really cute. Um, but I am gonna look at a couple other things. This is what I had intended to use. It's one of these. This is leftover from another project where I just had a little piece left. But you know, I don't throw it away, I save it. So there's that, you guys can vote. Let's see. And then you'll have to blur your eyes with this one. So, you know, you'll have to blur because it would be too long, I'd have to cut it. So do you like the big one? Or do you like the small one? It is, I'll say this, it is for a very little girl. So if that makes any difference, maybe the small, I don't know. Yes, me too, I like the small too. But you could also just put little pearls, you know. Um, Anything, any kind of little embellishments that you have. Pearls would be cute. Let's just see if we like pearls better. Now they're probably going to go rolling off of here, so y'all are going to have to kind of look quick, and I'm probably going to have to, oh, well, they're not too bad. I'm kind of putting them close to this ribbon so they'll kind of cling to it, is my thought. But obviously we would move them for the halo. So let me know if you like the pearl halo better than the little rhinestones. Do y'all have to blur your I have to blur my eyes to kind of get a feel for what it's really gonna look like. Hi Donna. Hey Kim Fogel. I know I love angels too. Do y'all have a preference? Also, if you notice, our ribbon has this edge that we cut off. It's gorgeous and blingy, so, you know, nothing wrong with using a piece of that. We just kind of bend it. Let's just move these for a second. Just kind of bend it how you need it. Oh, it's got the wire, I see, so. But you get it. You could use that. I would need to leave a piece with the wire, but see, you know, you could use that. Either way, you like the pearls, pearls for small gold. Okay, let's do the pearls. I'm going to switch to my Nuvo glue for the pearls and I'll tell you why, because I'm sorry guys, my back is just really bad right this second. Um, the hot glue, Mm, now I don't see my pen. The hot glue will make a big, kind of a big mess. I'm looking for a pen to poke down in here. And I don't see it. So, 
Next step is to use my liquid glue. This has been working great. This is pretty new to me. I've only used it a handful of times, but it's um, liquid glue and it's got a broad tip. So while we're at it, I'll show you. It got a broad tip, really nice broad tip and a small tip. So we'll obviously use the small tip. Oh, oh, we've been doing so much, you know, more than normal. And the back is screaming at me. So hope y'all can see the little dots that I can get with this glue. I actually think this glue is perfect. And of course it dries clear. It's clear and dries clear. I might need my tweezers because my big fat fingers may be in the way. I like to pick these pearls up if I can with the hole sideways so that it's not like this looking at you, you know, the hole. Um, or you can find some that don't have the holes. I think I got these at Timu, so they were pretty inexpensive and they had holes. So I'm just going to kind of turn them to the side as I glue them down. You can do this and watch your favorite Christmas movie. I've watched The Sound of Music. I got some great suggestions. I just need more time. Maybe Christmas Day we can watch some. I feel like no matter how much I prep, it still sneaks up and you're like, how can this be? I just have more wants. I want to do more things than I have time for. And I always think I can do it, but then, you know, it becomes a challenge. Look, how sweet. And I don't think these have to be, you know, perfect, but kind of tap at them to kind of move them how you want them. And that is so sweet. So isn't that just precious? And all we used was scraps, scrap ribbon and some pearls, and that's it. And that is literally all you have to do. If you really wanted to, you could take, if, and you have a lot, you could take ribbon and I would wrap it around the side, you know? Now this is too thick for this package, but you could do that if you had a thicker box, so that would be pretty. But that's really all you have to do on that one. And I love that. Okay, let's do a dress form because that's always a really fun one too. And I'll just do it right here on this box. Maybe this, I think this is my gift, um, but we'll do it right here on this box. So you can, and you can do that. You don't have to go buy, you know, um, wrapping paper and all that if you don't want. If you have scraps, you're, you're good. You can just do that. So let's do a red dress form first. This is like just literally scrap ribbon over here. And I want to do this velvet and we'll use just a touch of that black. In fact, I've got a small one here. And then I just fold it up, you know, my scraps and rubber band them if it's just like a little bit and save that. So for the dress form, I did make me a couple of sizes. That's too big for this box. That one's going to be perfect. So we'll use this and our little red velvet ribbon and cut this out. Oh, 
Oh, good. Thanks, Joanne. Yes, Simone, because you know, as crafters, we all have it. And I, if you're like me, it's like I can't stand to throw it away. Even if there's only like, you know, 10 inches of it, that's obviously you can't wrap a present with it, but you can totally use it for something like this. And now we're all making little things like ATCs and tags. So use it on that. Okay, so obviously doesn't have to be perfect. I just use this as a guide and you can fold it together and then kind of clean it up if you need to. We're going to take a little piece of the black or that would be pretty too. Have a waistband. See that? Hmm. Let me think. Let me see what I have. So I was thinking about using this as a skirt. Or we could use gold. Either gold or that. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the red. Let's just do this. We can always do a third one if we need to. I'm just going to try this. So there's her little waistband. Isn't that cute? I kind of feel like this makes a perfect little waistband. And then take your ribbon and you're going to kind of, you know, it'll tuck under that waistband and come down. I'm going to have it longer than the box so that I can kind of curl it. So it will be in little curls, however you want to curl it. Um, I think, let me see how it will do if I cut it down the middle too. Thank you, Vicki. Yes, I've got to get right back on, get busy, um, getting some ATCs done and some tutorials made. When my computer crashed, it threw a big dent in everything. I'm going to go ahead and just, this is kind of a test piece. I'm going to see how this would work if we have smaller strips on here. I think I'm gonna like that. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's add these smaller strips. But now this is the perfect length. I kind of, I want it, this will be glued down and I want this down here and then this little part will flip up. See that? Imagine if that caught on fire. You know, are sitting here telling me, Deb, it's on fire, and I'm just working away, not even paying attention. So each little strip can be about this length. Angela, I am showing some easy ideas for wrapping using scraps, you know, using what you have, scraps of ribbon, little embellishments like the little pearls, just giving you a couple of ideas. And then you guys can use your imagination and like maybe you have a, a new grandbaby and so you want to do a little rocking horse. So take some brown craft paper or a sack and that can be the horse. And then you just embellish it with things you have, buttons and ribbon and, you know. And you can paint it too, but I always do this every year, just kind of make something kind of crafty with my stuff. Okay, now let's start gluing down. So I'll glue down my little dress form here. hard to get top and, and middle very well because you don't have a lot of room to hold it. That's pretty close. I'm going to save this for a second because I'm going to cover up all of my ribbon pieces. You can put on some, you know, finger protectors. You don't have to be crazy like me. 
and just press it down. Actually, these probably need to flare out a little, so let's see if we can turn those just a little. We are kind of overlapping. Oh, you did, Vicki? Wow, you are awesome. That's a lot of baking. But you know what? People appreciate that so much because, you know, you kind of look forward to getting little gifts like that. And I, I think less people are doing it. Don't you guys think that? I think all of our grandmothers did it, our mothers did it, and then it starts slowing down, you know? Um. It's been a while since I have baked, but my daughter does it now, so I'm going to do one more round. So, like I said, even if you just have small amounts of ribbon left, you can really do some good things with it. I bet you are. You'll sleep good, though, and everybody will be so happy. Um... I gave some one year, and the next year when we went to this event, this lady was like, did you happen to make that? And I, you know, it's like this popcorn with white chocolate and all kinds of things in it, um, M&Ms and sprinkles. It's just really pretty, and it's still really good. And I was like, oh, I didn't make it this year. And she's like, oh, um, you know, people look forward to it, so they'll be so happy. Now, see, I've been kind of messy with my hot glue, but you get the idea. And then you can trim your little skirt off, you know, like if you've got some curls that are too long, just trim them. So let's see how, oh, that will cover it up. So that'll cover it up. So there's that one. I'm also going to look at my black. Black might be really pretty on here, too. Let's and, you know, I was going to cut it this way, but I'm going to cut it this way because I like this as the little waistband. So. Okay, do y'all like this waistband? Might need to come up higher. Oh, it really does kind of come and need to come up higher. Well, there's my bad. That's a really low waistband, isn't it? But we can put a necklace on her and then nobody will know. Or the black. So do y'all like that first one or the black? Thank you, Brenda. Homemade peanut butter fudge. Aw, that's so cool. Aw, who said that? Well, Brookie, I love you. You're important to me. I'm so glad you're a part of it. The first one, Brenda says. Anybody else? Ooh, see, we got a vote now. First one, black. First one or black. I think I'm going to use silver, actually, because then I can uh, make a little, like a rhinestone necklace. Ooh, you guys, you could also layer it. You know, I would, yeah, I'd probably layer it. I'd probably put this down and then put that down. So, you know, think about that, too, if you have some of these little totally dazzled wings. You like the first one, silver. Oh, that's pretty. What do you think? Yes, some ladies do. Some ladies do. Um, but what I was thinking for a necklace. Oh, you know what? I threw away yesterday something that would be perfect. Ah. Uh, that would have been just perfect. But it was complete junk and I didn't want to keep it in my room. Let me see. Look how pretty this is too. You know, guys, look. You, there's the, the possibilities are endless when you really think about all the things we have. So if you have a little bit of this, look, that's all you would need. Does that change your mind any or do you still like the other? Let me 
you just cut that off so you can get a, a better feel for it. probably don't love that. Let's see this. I probably don't love that either. But do we love like a big piece of bling? You like the black? <laughs> um, oh, there's just so many possibilities. Hi, Jeanette. Oh, he did, Cynthia. You know what, though? That's really good. And that might lift Jerry's spirits, even if, you know, it's stressful and everything. Um, maybe that's a really neat, good thing. So I'll pray for you. <laughs> Still like the silver with the pearl. Okay, we're just testing. We're playing. Let's, let's, somebody said black and silver. Oh, layer it. Okay, we can try. You can try. You all have to blur your eyes. I'm kind of holding it down. Do you like the layered look? And then silver with the pearl pin. So see, you know, a little bit of black sticking out. What do y'all think? Yeah, he will. You know what? I, I'm a firm believer in don't worry about your house. People aren't coming to see how clean you got it. They're coming because they care and they love you. So don't stress over that stuff. Yes, layered. No layered. So I believe the first thing I put down was this with a, with a, with a thing. Y'all vote. Y'all tell me real quick and I'll put it down. Layered with the bow. Silver with the small flower pearl, not the pearl bow. Yeah. Black with the bow on top. First. No layer. That. Okay. Let's go with this. It's, it's fine. We can always do more. It's fine. It's all pretty. Now, if you have a gift bag, maybe you just have a solid color gift bag, use that. You know, that's just laid out flat and do what I'm doing here right on the gift bag. Um, so don't stress out if you're like, oh, all the cute gift bags were sold out. Well, just get a solid color and do something like this. And it doesn't even have to be this, you know, not that this is hard or anything, but you could just do something really simple. But I think, you know, for, for the little bit of work we are doing, it's totally worth it. Let me see. I was going to show you all. Let me see if I can make a necklace out of this by chance. Do the necklace... Yes, I was going to cut this to see if I can make a necklace out of this thing. So what I had was, you know those little gold foily looking string? Um, how did I get that? What did that come with? I'm trying to think. what it, it came with something. And I guess it's to hang a... I wish I could remember what I got it with. I don't know. It was to hang something, but it's so, so tiny and cheap that I just used something else I had. But it would have been perfect for this. But I'm going to see how this looks. I'm cutting this is what I'm doing. I was just doing it off to the side so that I don't put these little pieces everywhere. I'm just going along and cutting right down this. See how they just fall down? So that's why I moved it off to the side so that they can fall right here on the table. And this may not work, but let's try it. Because it might. 
do not work. Now, is your, I think the necklace will have to come down far, so let's cut this in half. And get this the same length. We're just testing. We don't have to glue it down if we don't like it. But now you can find something to put in the middle. You know, like that. I was just thinking to take up some torso space. <laughs> Do you, Teresa? Good, good. If we had another little, I don't really have many little ones, so everything I have will be big and not work, but you know, if you, maybe you have uh, one that would be perfect. I don't know, what do y'all think? Can you decide? what I think of this. You like it? Sure wish I had what I threw away yesterday, but it is long gone. Oh, and we've got this stuff. How are you guys? That's not really the same color, but oops, not that. Get that out in pearl. point you get the oh 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 let's just double check that we don't love that is that too much bling and it doesn't take up space I also pulled these just in case you know I wanted those for something you could use a big flower right there you have a silver necklace to go with the belt? You're right, silver would be pretty. I don't. I do not have silver. Oh, this would be a cute necklace too to just put it like this. Look at this, you guys. Never too much bling. Oh, I see some hearts going. You could even drop something down if you want. I do see though, this is a lot of silver. Maybe we should add some gold. like this really matters you know it's just for fun so it doesn't oh there's a heart that's awful big I might be ripping this off you guys <laughs> I'll be ripping that off and putting something gold should we should we rip that off and put more gold y'all think you can mix metals I mix metals too I do I need to show you all the necklace I made for the when we went to the nutcracker
Yes, Vicki, a pearl necklace would be really pretty. Just glue down the little pearls. Yeah, the little pearl's cute. Are y'all, so we say mix it with this? I could have done something like that on the belt too. Okay, I'm gonna glue these down. I'm just gonna put a dot of this where it needs to stay put here. And then right here on this side. And that's really all I'm going to need to hold this down. This is the little break y'all didn't realize you needed. Like totally getting lost in some meaningless, not meaningless, but you know, some little project that kind of helps you stop stressing and stop overthinking and just reset. Vicki, I'll show that. Um, it turned out so cute. And I couldn't, I looked online and couldn't find what, I knew exactly what I wanted. And I couldn't find one that wasn't really, really expensive. I just had a vision in my head. I just knew what I wanted. And what it was, was like a charm necklace. So like a charm bracelet, but it was a necklace. And I found a couple, but they were way out of my budget. So I was like, I know I can just make one. So I did. I bought little charms from Hobby Lobby, I think it was. And um, and then the necklace was really crazy because I got it at a place I've never really shopped. It's called, was it Lane Bryant? I think, but it was um, because they, they somehow, I, I stumbled on it on Facebook, I think, and I, it caught my attention because I had been looking for necklaces. And so on the little side of, on Facebook had that brand and then necklaces and it caught my eye so I clicked on it and found one that was super cheap. I'll have to look and see what I paid but it was around eight dollars and it's a very nice chain multi-chain necklace. It's really good quality so it's a great price. So I made it for a fraction of the cost. There. How cute is that? Don't you think somebody would love to get that? They not want to do something with the box or they want to use the box for something else. So easy peasy. The other thing you can do, and I don't really have green, um, but we could do this. Let's show you real quick. Let me just show you on here. In this cute paper, my daughter picked it. Don't ask me what she got. No clue. Probably Target though. That's kind of a go-to for her. And I, when I, she had left over, so she gave it to me, of course, and I was like, oh, this is perfect for, what do you call it? Um, mixed media stuff and ATC cards, you know, cute paper. I'm going to tack this down right here on my little paper desk. And we'll just work right on top of this. I'm going to show y'all a super simple bow, and you're going to laugh. I know some people are really good at bows. I'm not, and I know there's a lot of us that aren't. I can do the messy bow really well. I like the messy bow, but if you're wanting a bow for a package, let's do one of those. Let's move this down. I'm going to use some of this because this is what I have a lot of. And kind of will match our little paper. So we're going to pretend this little thing here is our box. Merry Christmas to you, Cynthia. Glad you popped in here. I 
actually, let's use this. That's pretty, okay, this is perfect. Let's use this. I take a lot of it off the roll. Um, I'm probably gonna take, yeah, I'll just take all of it because it's not that much on here. And then to store everything, you can see this is what I do. So this is what I've already done. This is the ribbon she gave me and I've already wrapped it around cardboard. So just take it off the roll and wrap it around cardboard to store and you'll have a lot easier time storing it. So when I'm gonna make my own little bow, this is it. Let me grab my wire. I do always have my wire ready to go. So I just cut a piece of that. I make a small little, you know, loop. And so here's the little bottom of it. I'm gonna just hold it down with my thumb and kind of pinch it together, just pinch. And then I'm taking this and making another little loop, pinching it together. So now I've got it all pinched right there. I'm taking this. Now this is even easier because side doesn't matter. It's equally, no, actually that, that is more glittery, I think. But I don't think it's enough that you can tell, right? It looks totally the same to me. So you're gonna do the same. You're gonna make another loop on the other side and pinch it here. I'll go ahead and show you as if I do need to turn it over though. So if you have one, I do think that is, I do think this is the more glittery side. So we'll, I'll show you. So another loop, pinch and kind of hold. So I'm just holding it all right there. So now I'm gonna take this and twist. So I've got it held with my fingers. I'm twisting this so that now the really glittery side is facing up. And then when I make the loop, you know, it's, it's facing the right way. And you notice I have not measured. I'm just eyeballing it and then pinch and hold. So I'm just kind of grouping it together and holding. So there's this loop. When I say grouping, I just mean like this. I'm just kind of pinching it together and, and then put my finger on top to keep holding it. Now is where you'll twist. So I've got this ribbon. I'm going to twist it. And now the glittery side is facing up and make my loop. Okay, here's where the little, what I call trick, I mean, it's not a trick, but it's just what I do to make the long tails. So this is as big as I need it to be. I've got my fingers pinching really well, like I'm not letting go of this, holding on for dear life. And with the rest of this ribbon, however long you want it, so I'm just kind of cleaning it up, kind of straighten it up, and then so I can cut off some, I don't need it that long. So about that long would be good for the tail. So then I'm just gonna cut right here. Notice that I'm still pinching with a tight grip. And then I take this tail, the, the last piece of it, and put it right here, kind of, now I've got all of it. So that is under, and it's still attached, right? So take your wire and put it through And now I'm just kind of putting it, see my thumb? Just kind of putting it under my thumb and kind of arrange it to where you've got these two ends of it. Glad y'all gave me the hearts. That tells me you can see what I'm doing. I've been kind of wondering if y'all were gonna be able to have a good view. So I've got my two little ends and now I'm gonna pull and yank. I'm just pulling that wire really strong and that's helping me really get a tight, grip in the middle, just yank, yank, because it's wire, it can take it, and just really yank, yank. And pushing my thumb here helps, and then I'm just gonna kind of twist as close to that bundle as I can, and twist a few times. Thank you, Brenda. So now, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the base of the wire is really twisted against that ribbon. You know, there's, it's no, there's no loose. And you, when, now when you move your finger, everything is really nice and tight. And 
Hopefully y'all can tell that it's nice and tight. Then you can just cut this. So if this is your box, you know, you're gonna put your bow on the top of the box. You just bring these two down, just arrange, you know, how you like it, kind of clean it up a little. And you can just fluff your little ribbons, your little loops. Because we've been squishing them while we've been holding with a death grip. So just kind of arrange them. Oh, a star's party? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And that's all I do. It's very simple. You know, it's not anything fancy, but it does look pretty on packages. I'm going to show you on a different bow because... Some, some ribbons make it look a lot different and kind of really cool. Um, but this is just kind of a pretty glittery. And then I, I literally cut this off. So I've got, you know, enough that it's not going anywhere. And then I hot glue it to the top of my paper. That's what I've been doing on all mine. I just put a dot of hot glue and pop it down on top of that package and then you can refluff several times so even if this got squashed in a car ride maybe you have to go somewhere and take everything when you get there all you have to do is what I'm doing just fluff and anytime I used to mail reeds you know like I used to make and sell reeds and ship them I would put um, like tissue paper stuffed tissue paper up in here and that would keep the ribbons all pretty and not let them get squashed and then just kind of take your fingers and kind of do this to kind of make that little scrunched up look and that's all so it doesn't look like it was easy but it was on the ends if you anybody doesn't know this i always say if you you don't know until someone shows you. So there'll be somebody who doesn't know. Um, start at the bottom and go up and in to the middle. So fold it together. We're starting at the outside bottom and coming up and to the middle. And then you've got that pretty little edge. There you go. So let's, let me show you that one pretty ribbon. Okay, so if you got on late, we showed just now the ribbon. We showed this. We showed this. Super simple. And let's do one more ribbon with our pretty. And um, let's see what I have more of. That one's not very much. I'll try this one. Oh, that one's bummer. We can probably still make it work. Just less loops. So that's why I say go grab you some ribbon while it's 90% off. Um, sometimes I do go ahead and get it at 70 or 80% off because it goes. People buy it. And so if you don't, if you find one you really want, it probably won't be there when it's 90% off. Sometimes it is, but... You know, if I really know I want it and have to have it, then I'll still pay. I'll still buy it at 70% off. I just, you'll never see me get it. I mean, I have to really want it to even get it at 50% off. Because, <laughs> you know, if you just, and that's why I do this every year so that the next year I've got plenty of ribbon. Okay, Merry Christmas, Sheila. Glad you are here. So we're going to try to piece this together. Let's see if we can do it. So again, this one I can also show you really well on the twisting. So we've got a loop. My thumb's on the loop. So I'm going to twist back here. I'm still pinching. And now we've got Santa facing up. We've got the same dilemma. I can't do it this way. I've got a twist. Pinch. There's the loop. Here we go with the twist and pinch. Twist, 
and pinch. And you can let these get a little bigger each time. I sometimes do that and sometimes kind of leave them about the same or maybe just a tiny bit bigger each time. Twist, pinch. That one worked out perfect, didn't it? And then I'm going to twist so that this side is facing up. So I'm still kind of twisting and pinching and holding everything. And then we're gonna add more to it. Let's add another. So pinch together a little bit so that it's back here. Let's slide it under and then pinch again. Let's do another couple. And twist back here, pinch. Is that making sense? Can y'all see that good enough? So I'm gonna do one last, I guess I'll have to do two last times. So twist it here and then you take that twist and slide it under your finger. Now I'm gonna show you what you can do because this happened to me yesterday where I was like about out of ribbon. So let's say we're right here and I didn't have enough to do any tails. So I'll show you how I solved that problem. And that's on the, you guys saw that picture. I put that picture on my page. So remember we put that, kind of slide it under your thumb. Oh no, the Santa's not facing the same way, but I don't care about that as long as it's facing up. And I am yanking really hard right now. So my thumb's here, I'm yanking, yanking, and then just kind of slide my fingers out while I'm still yanking really tight and then start twisting at the base. You want this super tight against your ribbon. And that's good. And then just press that down and then fluff. I am not a professional bow maker, so if you um, watch this and you're laughing because it looks terrible compared to yours, I'm, you know, I'm not claiming to be a great bow maker. I'm just, this is just how I do it. And Carrie was the one that asked me, will you show us how to do that? I was like, oh, well, they're not perfect, but sure. So then pull out my little loops, kind of fluffing them around how I want them. And then what I do, I had another piece about, it was literally the same scenario. So you can just take that piece. Okay, so take it and in the center, you're just kind of folding it in on itself so that you've got this. And then I literally just took a hot glue piece of, put that down on my package. I even just put a tiny dot here to kind of hold that where I wanted it and then hot glue this right on top of it, like so. So then nobody ever knows that, you know, you have to kind of piece it together. So don't worry if you only have a little bit. You could even, you, you could even, you know, better than nothing, just have a couple of loops like this and just, you know, You know what I'm saying? Like it could just be a very small one with the tails. We would cut that in the middle and have tails. And then on your ends, start at the bottom and come to the up, come up and to the middle. And that's that. I had some of these left over. Actually, Maddie gave them to me. So these were something she used for decor. And um, I did use some of that. I took a piece just like this. Y'all might have seen that on the package. And then I took some of this and just took one, you know, kind of look at it and see what you like of it. And then you can, you can um, wrap them together with wire. So if you have some leftover wire, do that. 
One going in one way, one going the other, I guess this way. Just kind of wrap it with that wire to kind of help you hold it together. And then hot glue it wherever. I probably wouldn't. Well, yeah, that's actually cute. I mean, there's no, nothing wrong with that. But I did do this on like a velvet one. I think it was. So you can add anything. I added a little ornament. Um, you know, I used some of these this year. So if you have even a regular ornament, it doesn't have to be something cutesy. But you could even tuck a little, little ornament in here like that. I might even use, a, if I had a pretty piece of ribbon, I might tie it with that ribbon onto there. You know, and that would be cute too. So use what you have. Use the leftover things you have and decorate those packages up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was fun and I hope it was relaxing. Oh, you're so welcome, Brenda. I have really, a lot of people have been on my heart because I know that they are alone this Christmas or illness reasons. Um, these came from Amazon, Brenda, and I'm almost positive I put the link in the VIP group, so I'll go in there and, and tag you on that post. It was been a long time, but I do think I put that in there, but Amazon. Um, yes, and hers are prettier than mine. I'll go take a picture <laughs> and show y'all. Yeah, she's, she does. She should be doing the tutorial on those for sure. Thank y'all for being here and for sprinkling and all the things. Thank you guys. Um, so let's do something. Let's do another little giveaway. Why not? We're all caught up on them. So I'm putting that. So if you're still here watching, make a comment real quick. Oh, good, Teresa. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, Mary Jo. That's what you guys do for me. I mean, really, I'm not kidding. I really do enjoy hanging out with y'all. And so I feel like you're right here with me. Oh, Angela, thanks. So yeah, make any kind of comment. It can be, it doesn't have to be a compliment. You can say hi. You can say Merry Christmas, you know, whatever. And then save, you know, if you have something like this, remember you can, now don't hoard. There's a difference between saving and hoarding, but you know, we could make a necklace out of that center part, right? So I don't know. That's why I save a lot of things. I'm going to let y'all comment for a second. I'm going to be sure everybody gets a chance. And Merry Christmas to everybody. Check on a neighbor. That's my challenge to you guys is check on someone who's elderly or is a caregiver. Somebody who's alone and you know, you kind of worry about them sometimes. Call and do a little check and just, or text or whatever you do. Can y'all see these things? I want to be sure if you came in late, these are the other things we made that you could go back and see if you want to. Cute little things. Easy, easy. Okay. Oh, Vicki, I'm so glad. Okay. Let me go back up to where my little checks are. Well, we sure don't have 52 comments and we have 52 that are still here. So I hope, I hope, <laughs> man, I tell you what, my family thinks I'm a hoarder, but if they, if they only knew, cause sometimes you guys will put your pictures and I'm like, ha, huh, see, we're all alike. And it's not hoarding when it's, I mean, I have my stuff organized. So I know exactly where everything is. Um, when I can't get it in cabinets, that's when I have a problem. And I will go through and start, you know, being sure, do I really need that? Yes, Mary Jo. And you know what? Even if you don't do this, but it might have sparked you an idea for a painting, right? So that's why we watch people. You know, people can, even if you don't like exactly what they're doing or you're never going to do it, it might spark a creative idea in some other way. Okay, I'm scrolling, scrolling right now. Back and forth, back and forth. Sure don't want to miss anybody. Stop. Cynthia King, cute ideas. Cynthia, I will send you a little happy. I'm glad you were here. Glad you could take a break. 
So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope. I hope that everybody has a wonderful Christmas Eve. I don't know when I'll pop on next, but you know, I like to do this where if I have the time, I can just come on and surprise y'all. And if y'all are bored, you can pop on. So I will see you next time. Thank you guys for being here and everything. Bye-bye.